What's up guys, Oscar Gomez here from Master Automotive Training, smartautotraining.com. So on today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to do the visual inspection process when it comes time to do a smog check inspection. All right guys, so let's go ahead and grab our tools. Let's get ready, let's hit it. So the first step in the visual inspection is you gotta identify the car. What kind of car is it? What are you looking for? You can't just dive right in. So the first thing you always wanna look for is the under the hood label or the ECS, Emission Control System label that is usually affixed underneath the hood of a car. One of the things that we'll show you once we get a, take a look here at our label is that some of the older cars, because of the intense heat underneath the hood, causes the actual decal to start to bend. That doesn't mean that you're not gonna be able to use it, it just means that you're gonna have to work a little bit harder to actually see what's on the label. Once you identify what's on the label, your next step is to identify it on the car. So let's go ahead and take a look at the label. So while we look at the under the hood label, we look at the area right under engine displacement and it reads the emission components. This one says three-way catalytic converter, two of them, heated oxygen sensor, air fuel ratio sensor, and sequential fuel injection should be on this particular car. So let's go ahead and take a look and identify these components on the actual vehicle. Although we saw on the label that it didn't include EVAP or PCV, those are two of the main emission system components. The reason they're not on the label is the manufacturers and the EPA states that all vehicles should be equipped with those emission components. Because of that, they're not gonna be on the label. What technicians are trained and we train our technicians is to make sure that you guys are always identifying these systems and components even though they're not listed on the label. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first one, which is PCV or crankcase ventilation. So let's take a look. When we're looking at the PCV system, I always call it the four main points. One of the points would be the oil dipstick. You're looking at the dipstick to make sure there's no signs of smoke coming around from the actual dipstick. The second one is gonna be the oil fill cap. The oil fill cap needs to be present, and again, no smoke coming out from around the actual cap. The next one would be the breather. This breather here takes in positive air or pushes air. And our second, or excuse me, our fourth, which would be our PCV, is a negative pressure or pulling vapors out, sending them into the intake where then we burn them off. 